Hi, this is Mr. Reese, and this lesson here is going to focus on on proofs and also the Pythagorean identity. This is basically going to serve as your introduction to uh, proofs involving trigonometry. And before we get started with them, what I want to first do is highlight these uh, particular formulas and definitions. These you'll want to know. You'll you'll want to have these in your head already you should already be aware of the reciprocals that is the reciprocal for cosecant is sine for secant it's cosine tan and cotan but these are more important there are times when you want to write um, every single term in terms of sine and cosine so you'll want to know that the cosecant is one over the sine the tangent is the sine over the cosine and of course uh, the secant being one over the cosine and then the reciprocal for cotan. These come up so often and it'll benefit you to know them because if you have uh, if you have a proof with a lot of trigonometric ratios you can whittle it down to just a few. For example take this one here it says verify the identity cosecant times tangent equals secant these are proofs. I mean, this looks like an equation, but uh, we're not going to treat it as such. You're going to treat this really as just two separate halves. You won't be adding or subtracting to both sides or multiplying and dividing. Because these are proofs, the key is to use substitution to show that the left side is equal to the right side. Now, since we have three different trig ratios, cosecant, tan, and secant, it would be easier if we could whittle it down to fewer, say, just sine and cosine. Because of that, you'll want to keep these in mind. Why don't we do that right now? Why don't we substitute for the cosecant? That's 1 over sine. And let's also substitute for the tangent. And that's sine over cosine. I want you to note that I'm only paying attention really to just this particular side. And whenever doing these proofs, it's a good idea just to concentrate on just one side. Okay, you might have noticed that uh, we have just a basic multiplication problem these two here being top and bottom reduce out and what we're left with is 1 over cosine and 1 over cosine as you can see from over here is secant and that finishes off the proof let's do another one okay let's prove the sine over the tangent plus the cosine over the cotan is equal to the sine plus the cosine. In other words, just these two here. Uh, let's kind of use the same strategy, and that is we'll replace everything in terms of sine and cosine. You notice that the right-hand side is telling you this. There is no tangent or cotangent here, so you really want these to vanish. Recall the tangent is the sine over the cosine. So underneath here, we'll just simply write that. For cotangent, the cotan is the cosine over the sine, so let's also write that in. Okay, now, this kind of looks even more complicated, but actually it's not. What you have essentially is this. You have a top portion divided by a bottom portion, which is the whole thing. And that's two of these, essentially. So what you got here is just a division problem. You have the top, which is the sine divided by the sine of the, over the cosine. Recall that when you're dividing fractions, what you're really doing is you're taking this fraction here and you are multiplying instead by the reciprocal. So that's sine times the cosine over the sine instead of sine divided by the sine over the cosine. Let's use similar logic over here. That's this cosine up top and dividing by this fraction on the bottom means we multiply by its reciprocal. So there you are. It's sine over the cosine. Again, this has been flipped over just as this one was flipped over. Over here in this section you'll notice that the sine and sine here reduce out. Same scenario over here. These two go away. So now all that we are left with is just this cosine and this sine. And you'll notice that finishes the problem. 
because now what we have here on this side is the same as over here on the right hand side only they're switched around okay that ends this first part now move on to part two